Welcome back to Channel 5 News at noon. Earlier this morning, we woke up with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, so it was a cooler start to the day, but it didn't take long for that heat to really settle in. Look at your current readings outside. We're in the mid to upper 80s. Now, the cloud cover in the mid to lower valley, looking at Westlaco and going east, you kind of see uh, are a little bit cooler compared to the upper valley, and that's just because the clouds have gotten a little bit thicker there earlier compared to the upper valley, so uh, it is keeping temperatures at bay, but it won't keep them down all afternoon long. The wind out of the east primarily today, but some of them are out of the southeast. And you look and they're ranging anywhere between 7 and 14 miles per hour, but along the coast near Port Isabel and, and then, of course, in coastal Willisee and Cameron County, you kind of see a little slightly elevated wind speed, but that's only right around 16 up to 20 miles per hour. So really nothing gusty out there. And uh, it looks like a mainly dry afternoon so far, but we have been tracking a few showers. And when we zoom into southern Cameron County and portions of even the very southmost portion of Idago County have been getting a few sprinkles here and there, but I would say uh, the majority of the light rain showers that have been passing by have been uh, mainly over by Los Fresnos and areas south of that ranchito getting a few of those showers, maybe even Santa Maria going into Progreso, but really when you look south, that's pretty much all you see is the clouds and you don't really see a whole lot of rain and even future track indicates that there won't be there that much rain around this afternoon. Maybe again, a few showers could uh, linger up into the mid and upper valley this afternoon, but really very isolated stuff. So we're hit and miss with much of the valley remaining dry. But looking at your day planner forecast, your temperatures have the potential that if those clouds break a little bit, uh, they could go up to 90 degrees. But if they don't break, I think much of the day will be spent in the upper 80s, and that's where we'll be for your drive time home. And again, that shower is possible through about four or five o'clock. After that, everything just kind of fizzles out. Tomorrow, another chance for rain, but again, it's like today, only a 20% chance at this point with high temperatures temperatures right around 88 degrees, so we're staying a few degrees above average. And when you look at the setup across Texas, we continue to pull a lot of the moisture from the Gulf, and that's why we have that lower level uh, humidity going up. We're still in the muggy category, but it does give us enough that we could see a few sprinkles or so. Uh, looking to the north, we have some clouds kind of moving in over um, northern Texas, but really the front is now to the north and east and not coming down into the valley anytime soon. And looking at these temperatures, you can really see that it's a pretty average day in uh, or above average day in Texas, all the way up to the Panhandle near 72. So slightly cooler there, but really uh, not a big difference until you look well far to the north and you look at uh, over the Dakotas and even Bismarck. Look at 49 degrees uh, this afternoon, so that's where it gets chilly. But when the farther south you go, of course, the warmer it's getting. And it looks like we're going to stay above average for the rest of the work week will be at 88 degrees starting tomorrow all the way through Friday. That's above average by about two degrees or so. And taking a look at the seven day forecast, you can see that it'll continue, but it'll be with a stray shower each afternoon through the end of the work week. By Saturday and Sunday, we bump up the heat just a little bit. We'll be in the lower 90s. Even as we head into Halloween on Monday, it'll be right around 90 degrees with a small chance for rain. But again, those rain chances are very, very small, only around 10% for Monday and again, 10 to 20% for the rest of the work week. So so nothing in terms of a whole bunch of widespread heavy rain. That's your updated first one five forecast. Channel 5 News at noon will be right back.